Well, hello there. So I'm going to show you how to do my July twist stitch. And I know it's not July or close to July, but it was July, back July, when I created the stitch. <laughs> so there you go. And this is what it looks like. Um, I'm pulling it out a bit so you can see the pattern. So if you did it quite loose, more lacy looking, um, this is the look you'd get. It looks really nice lacy. I'm doing it thicker here. So there you go. And um, it does have a slight curl to it. So I've done a, a border here for it. And um, that's helped it a lot. You can see how it looks here. On the back, looks like that. And the edges look like that. And the edges look like that. So it all looks pretty nice. And it's a stitch video, so I'm not going to show you everything, but I will give you enough instruction that you can go ahead and make something in a flat panel or you know how you want just from giving you enough information so the loom i'm using is a three quarter inch cindy wood loom it's the one that is um, made to be like a circle set so it's the green peg that the green one that you'd see in the nifty knitter set the 36 peg loom Oh no, just a sec. What, how many pegs is this one? I can read it three quarter inch. Yeah, I think it's, well, it doesn't matter. We're not using all the pegs. But anyway, I'm using one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen pegs. And um, it's enough to make a little scarf. Okay, so the yarn I'm using is amethyst barcelona this is it michael's brand and uh, we'll get to the stitch then okay so all i did was mark the two pegs on each side for the end pegs and i cast it on and then i did garter stitch so i cast on I did a row of knit stitch, just U-wrap, then a row of purl, then a row of U-wrap, then a row of purl. And that's what gave me this little border here to keep it from curling up or doing anything like that. And then at the sides, um, I'll show you that as we start to go. But first I'll show you the first stitch and on my little marker here that tells me which direction I'm doing which stitch. So the first stitch, and it's a two row uh, pattern with two different stitches. The first row is twisty stitch. I have a twisty stitch uh, stitch video if um, you want to look more at it, but it's a pretty easy stitch. So I'll show you how to do that. So um, I've already done the end pegs. We're starting at number one peg. So we just put the yarn over in a U-wrap and we knit it off. And then we come back and do another U-wrap, but the opposite direction and knit it off. So it's just two U-wraps, but one done this way and one done the other way. Now it's important when you do this stitch for the second stitch, this one, to be loose. Because if you're holding this too tight, you're never going to get this over. So you don't want to be pulling this so tight it comes over here and then you can't get it. Okay, so you want to hold it more loose so that it goes over nice and easy. Also, that'll make, give you more texture. And it will save your wrist. <laughs> So that's all you do. Very, very easy, easy stitch, giving you a load of texture. So put the working yarn over, come back this way. 
A twisty stitch is one of my favorite stitches. It's one of the early ones I created and um, just opened up the door for all kinds of texture. Okay, over like this and like this. A twisty on its own just has just a little bit of um, a tendency to curl and I wouldn't need as much here if it wasn't for the second stitch that I'm using to get this look. Okay, now whenever I get to the end pegs, I always flat or always do a U wrap over the first one. Okay. And then I'm doing, but you don't have to do this. You can do any edge you want. I'm just showing you an edge that'll work so that you can go ahead and do something. But then I'm going to do an E-wrap for the end peg. And I'm going to slip the stitch and come back and do a purl. And that will just keep the edge from curling. So we have this, we have this nice edge on here. Okay, so now when we come back, the stitch we're doing is E-wrap. So now you know why I had to do something so it wouldn't curl, because E-wrap curls so much. Okay, so we just E-wrap back. Well, I E-wrap by doing a peg at a time. Sometimes I'll do up to three, but that way you can keep your tension better. Nice, even tension. Um, tension and when you wrap all the pegs you can lose your tension and that's how you get laddering because each one you when you have a whole row each one you pull pulls the yarn over and so you end up with a tendency to have more of a ladder or a hole on the other side okay so that's the e-wrap and then we're going to come back to these two pegs. So again, how I'm doing that is we just knit over in the U-wrap. We do the E-wrap. This will give us a nice slipped edge, which I don't mind when I'm doing garter border. And then come in and purl. So it's just got a purl on the return. And I'm just going to pause you for a moment because I got a frog in my throat, so I have to have a drink of water. Okay, well, hopefully that got it. <laughs> so I can show you the edge one more time. So we do twisty this way. Oh, it's a pretty easy stitch. That's all there is to it. <laughs> Two rows. And you might find all kinds of other ways to do your edges and things, but this is just one way I worked out. So that if I did a stitch video while you were waiting for me to do a project, you could at least do something in the meantime with the stitch. And uh, my yarn is kind of tangled up there. <laughs> But I think I have enough to get to the other end here. We'll see. <laughs> there. <laughs> and twisty. Okay, so we're at the edge. And all we do is we do a U-wrap over the first peg. Then we do an E-wrap on the last peg, and then we come over and purl. Okay, and that's what's giving me this nice edge here. It's making it lay nice and straight, although I've been pulling it and everything, but <laughs> to stretch it out, whatever, but <laughs> get it back into shape here. Okay, there we go. And it's got this nice edge. 
and nice edge there nice edge there so there it is all worked out for you if you want to do it and you can do it nice and thick like this and you get a lot of texture like a lot of texture i'll have to put it to the side here so you can see that it's a very textured stitch because you can't really see that by looking at it flat but yes it's got a lot of texture okay and again um it looks really nice when you do it really really loose with a fine uh, yarn you have this pattern here is very nice so there you go hope you enjoyed the video and until next time bye